Reporting from Gen Con 2016, here is Mark Arnaudo. I am at the booth of Modifius, where Chris has agreed to tell us about Airfix Battles, so the introductory war game. It came out recently. Well, for people that complain that there aren't enough war games at Gen Con, there are war games. You just need to look for them a little bit. Thank you, Chris. How are you doing? So this is uh, based on my childhood games with plastic soldiers. Uh -huh. I remember the day we were still making machine gun sounds and mowing down our toy soldiers. And then I said to my friend, hey, why don't we roll dice instead? And we started writing up all our own rules. And so this is a kind of uh, a tribute to that, really. And our Airfix is this um, uh, UK model kit brand. You probably know it in America. There's also similar companies like Revel that do those boxes mm -hmm. of plastic figures. So I wanted to make a really introductory war game that can play in half an hour, up to an hour. And it's got everything in it you don't need it's got all the counters and I'm gonna flip over the box so it's got um, all the counters for figures you can replace those with your plastic figures with your other war games figures mm -hmm. the counters flip over to be hit points uh, or hit markers to, uh, put onto base units so even somebody that doesn't have a single toy soldier at home would be able this. to play you the game with the components in exactly. this box using the tokens yeah you can open this and be playing in 10 minutes so it's got you know the counters for tanks for guns for scenery, the, the units are all based on cards. So you've got red, the tanks, green is infantry, uh, orange are commanders, purple are the units that go with commanders like guards, etc. We have order cards that are a bit like Memoir 44. You have uh -huh. order cards like you know, but this would be something like move uh, tanks and then fire or move one infantry unit with a plus one movement. So it gives you lots of little different strategies and the commanders. So it is card driven? It's card driven but you still roll dice. Uh -huh. and yeah, we sure. have a, I'm going to show you some of the components now. So the, uh, the units are really simple. Um, you have victory points and, com and your cost of buying a unit is your stars. Uh -huh. So you know the different units have a different uh, points cost. Uh -huh. you know, so like a, a tiger tank is cost four. Panzer four, small tank only cost two. Um, now here we go as an example of the commander. We don't have really complicated command lists. Uh -huh. These symbols tell you what he can have in his army. So he can, he must have a one or two point uh, uh, tank. So he's going to let's say he takes the Panzer four. He can have another one or two point tank. He can have another up to five star tank, and he can have a four star infantry unit. So that's really easy. What you can command, they get to. Um, he gets to have a hand of two cards. He can play two cards, a turn command cards. Everything is based off one number. We call the war dice, and so that means when he rolls to hit, he needs a four plus. If it's um, oops, if it's infantry, uh, it's going to show you a. Uh, Infantry cards, um, infantry for example, are rolling a 4 plus, you roll, there's 10 men, so you roll a dice for every man, which you see in here, mm -hmm. it's a little simple, a reminder, one dice per man, you have a range of four squares, so squared maps, he can move two squares, and he's rolling 4 plus to hit, if there's no cover, there's no saves, if the defender's in cover, they also roll their war dice number, which is varied, uh, depending on units, you see these guys, are uh, grenadiers, they've got a five plus, they're not as good mm -hmm. as panzer, panzer grenadiers. So, and the, the cards all have their special abilities, like Germans have um, some of the units like Panzerfaust, the Panzer Grenadier, they get a free movement after they dismount from their transport, mm -hmm. and they're motorized, they may buy transport. So, all, all your rules, your special rules, are on the cards. There's very little need to refer to the rule book. The rule book teaches you the missions through the scenarios. So you'll be um, uh, learning. Let me show you a quick. So we have ten missions in the mm -hmm. game that gradually teach you how to play. Nice. So we've got a bit of a story. Uh -huh. Starting units. And then you get to the point where it's getting more and more complex and it uses two double-sided maps. 
So, but nice. So new players don't have to worry about forming armies and exactly. creating I mean, because that's something that sometimes yeah. uh, can be a little daunting to new war gamers. That's right. So we've got squared maps that you move uh -huh. from square to square. Later in the year, we're doing a collector's edition that gets rid of the maps and you play like a normal war game uh -huh. but with using the cards, the command cards, and the unit cards. So it keeps it very simple. And, and again, so this is very important for people that are new to war gaming. They do not need to buy terrain features. That's so right. In there. It's all included in the game. And actually on the maps, the terrain, we just want it to look really nice, but then you add on specific cover and rough terrain onto the map as well. So still have the functionality of terrain. Yeah. And the rules are very straightforward. They teach you how to play the basics of the game. Uh, it's very clearly laid out. Uh, you read the first few pages on what the units do. Lots of clear examples. Mm -hmm. And then it sends you off, go and play Scenario 1. And then you'll come back and you'll learn um, about setting up the board, setting up scenery. Now go and play Scenario 2. So sort of like learn as you play. Yeah, and then you'll learn about vehicles. Now go and play Scenario 3. Programmed and learning. On. Exactly. So it's much, uh, much simpler. There's another 10 missions to download online. Oh, Operation excellent. Cobra. Uh, so that's going to be free to download. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is the simple uh, order card system which um, is basically, so you have a number of these cards as your commander, and these give you your strategies. So you have your basic order, which is move, fire, or reinforce. So I can always move a unit, I can always fire a unit, or bring on a reinforcement. But the interesting side is the flip side. Red cards are interrupt, so you might, uh -huh. be, you might be trying to attack me, and, and I, what have I got? Rally, okay, so I've just failed a morale test, but I can play this card. And um, it's about to retreat, I can uh, stop the retreat. Um, this one is a rapid retreat. You might be about to assault me, I go, wait. No, I wasn't actually there where you thought I was, uh -huh. I've, uh, moved. So it gives you a bit of a fog of war uh, on the board, because you never quite know what the enemy's gonna do and where he really is. Because, like, look at this card, this is, um, open up. So one infantry unit with rifles may move, then fire using the rifles, re-roll once for each miss when firing at a target within two squares. So that's a proper, like, combat action. Or one vehicle may move once and fire all its weapons once each. Because normally you'd have to shoot your main gun or your machine gun. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of different cards with lots of different strategies. And the more commanders you have, the more cards you get access to. If you lose your commander, you that lose sounds access bad. to cards. Yeah. And again, the cool thing is, is when you lose a unit, if I lose my Panzer Grenadiers, I'm giving this to you. It's worth, mm -hmm. there's points value, four points. Yeah. And it might be that we're just playing a game to the first person to five points, first person to ten points. We might be playing for an objective. We so we have these flexible mission. victory conditions that the oh, players yeah. can customize. Yeah, exactly. And we teach you how to make your own missions. Uh, we also um, introduce the points value. So you, it's not a set scenario where it's like, okay, you've got a Sherman, you've got two squads and a commander. It's like you've got ten points. You choose what you want uh -huh. to spend. And you can have fun just going through the cards going, if I had 20 points, what would I buy? And that's yeah. what I, I've always wanted to be able to have as well. Really quick, fast playing. I, I taught some people, two people who are not gamers at all, how to play in half an hour. And they loved it. Excellent. So it's very much the game that you can play with your buddies, your gamers, your war gamers. You want to feel like you've played a war game in, um, you know, in an hour. You can play it again. You know, it's a, little, a bit like Memoir 44. You can keep, keep playing through mm. the night because it's quick. Um, but it doesn't take six hours to play. It doesn't take six hours to set up and play. I mean, I still love four war games when I've got a whole day, but sometimes I don't have a whole day. But this is also kind of the game that you can play with your kids. You've got some plastic soldiers in the attic. I don't know anyone who hasn't got a, a box of old Airfix or Rebel mm -hmm. plastic figures. You can get them out and play a really fun game as well. Excellent. Thank you so much no for problem. telling us about Airfix. Battles, the introductory war game. Okay.